this tutorial, you will learn how to create a spot announcement that features animated text. A public service announcement, or PSA, is one type of spot announcement. To begin, you should have a project folder in your Google Drive folder. You should have already had your script and storyboard approved. You should also have recorded and edited your narration and exported a WAV formatted file of your audio track. To create your animated announcement, you will use Adobe After Effects, a software tool used by professionals throughout the world. In your Applications folder, open the Adobe After Effects folder, then add the Adobe After Effects application to your dock. Click on the After Effects alias on your dock to open the program. When the Welcome screen opens, click on the New Composition button. Project files in After Effects are called Compositions. For composition settings, type your composition name using this format, PSA hyphen title hyphen name. Substitute a one or two word project title for title and your name for name. For the preset, click on the pull down menu and choose HDTV 1080 29.97 for the setting. For the duration, enter 15 seconds. Note that HDTV 1080 We'll set the size of your composition to 1920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels high. The 29.97 means there will be 29.97 frames played back every second. This rate adjusts a 30 frames per second or FPS rate to correct for time differences in NTSC, the US television standard. Once your composition settings are correct, click on the OK button. To save your composition, Press both the Command and the S keys on your keyboard at the same time, or open the File menu and click on the Save button. Next to the Save As field, click the arrow to reveal places on your computer, then navigate to your Project folder. In the Save As field, type the same name you did when you set up your composition. When the name is correct, click the Save button. Note. Remember to save your project often by using the Command and S keys on your keyboard. From the Window menu, choose Workspace, then click the Text Layout. Repeat opening the Window menu, choose Workspace, then click on the Reset Text option. When asked, Are you sure? Click on the Yes button. Click on the Magnification Ratio pop-up, then click on the Fit option. Click on the Choose Grid and Guide Options button. Click Title Action Safe to make the guidelines appear. If the guidelines do not appear, click on Guides until a check mark appears next to it, and click on Title slash Action Safe until a small circle appears next to it. The Title Action Safe guide will help you know which parts of your composition will be viewable on different screens. The complete image frame of your composition may be seen on some screens. If your project will only be seen on screens with a 16 to 9 aspect ratio, keep essential text within the 16 9 title safe area. However, since your project will also be seen on screens with a 4 3 aspect ratio, keep essential text within the 4 3 safe area. To create your composition, you need a copy of your script and your storyboard for reference. Import your audio track into your After Effects composition by using both the Command and I keys on your keyboard. Or, open the File menu and click the Import, then File button. Navigate to your Project folder and choose your edited audio recording WAV file, then click the Open button. Find the WAV file in your Project window and drag it to the Timeline window. To make the audio waveform visible, Click the triangle next to the file name to reveal the audio track. Click the triangle next to the audio track to reveal the waveform item. Then click the triangle next to the waveform item to display the audio waveform on the timeline. The length of your audio track should be between 14 and 14 and a half seconds, which is less than the 15 seconds length of your composition. Use the selection tool to click on the waveform in the timeline and slide it until it is centered from left to right. Once your audio track is centered on the timeline, lock the track by clicking the space to the left of the track name right underneath the lock icon. 
To hear your audio track, open the Composition menu and select Preview, and make sure a check mark is next to Audio by clicking on it. To play the audio using RAM Preview, press the Control and Zero keys on your keyboard. Refer to your script and storyboard as you play the audio. When you get to the change from your first storyboard frame to the second, stop the audio playback. Each of the frames in your storyboard should represent one scene. Use the Control and 8 keys on your keyboard, or open the Layer menu and click Add Marker to place a marker on the timeline. The markers you create will usually appear where there are pauses between sentences or phrases in your audio track. Repeat the process to create markers indicating changes between each of your storyboard scenes.